fixing your objective is to reduce the turnaround time. That is your North Star to hire a person in 90 days. I have to complete hiring a person in 30 days. So that's your uh, metric. You will define processes and policies within the organization that cater to that North Star metric. You will not define elaborate approval flows for releasing an offer letter. You will not define elaborate uh, approval flows for even raising a manpower requisition, right? Because that's a business need. If you put contradicting out, uh, processes versus out, I mean, outcome metrics, obviously it will not be a success. Depending on the tool that you are bringing in, you would have to be open to understanding what the tool really does, like a lever or a greenhouse or something. And you are only trying to solve for that. It will not work out. You have to understand what the tool's philosophy is or what the, what the tool's value proposition is. Greenhouse or a lever's value proposition is around candidate experience. It is around recruiter experience. It is not so much about the TAT or it is not so much uh, about increasing efficiency. But a simpler tool like a higher craft will do a better job in increasing efficiency rather than a greenhouse or a lever. You have to choose the tool according to your business need or according to the problem that you're trying to solve and according to the success metric that you have put forth for solving that problem. While evaluating a tool, it becomes very important to understand what the tool is talking about itself. What the tool really says, it, it solves. Where most people and most companies have bad experiences with product, when the tool's value proposition is not in sync with the success metric that they have defined for their problem that is where the outcomes are not in sync that is where people struggle with that product nobody is happy in that situation